Hey, how's it going guys? This is 1FO here. Today I'm going to be showing you an amazing exploit. This is actually my exploit, Vega X V2.0.8A. And if you've never seen this exploit before, I'm going to be giving you guys an uh, overview on how to use it, how to download it, everything like that. And if you've been here already, you guys probably already know what to do. It's going to be in the description. But when you first get it, it's going to look like this. It's going to be in a .rar file, so you're going to need WinRAR to download it. And this is basically all it is. And I'm going to give you a rundown of everything there is in the main menu. So the first thing is this huge script hub. I'm adding more scripts to this whenever I can. But Pastebin has been taking some of them down, but right now there's over 400 scripts in here. Counting the script hubs. Um, there's an options menu with so many options in here i mean pretty much everything you could want kill roblox closes roblox um you could boost your fps if your game is running kind of slow you could bypass the anti-cheat on some games you could make sure you don't get caked for being inactive for 20 minutes there is an easy mini game if you're bored you could just bounce this ball around um i made explanations for what these buttons do if you forget there's a troubleshoot tester to test if anything's broken on here. There's an adjustable scripts menu. There is a simpler UI if you just want to execute scripts. And there's also just some basic things on here that are pretty self-explanatory. And if you want to see what I changed in the updates, you could check this. And to download a new version, just click this button. But yeah, that's all there is for the options menu and the script hub. But on the very front page, when you first download it, you're going to see this. You could change the colors of the background of the exploit itself. You could change the top bar panel, which is this thing. You could change that. You could reset it to the default theme, which is what I have right now. You could add your own custom theme by dragging and dropping any image right in between these two buttons. And I'm pretty sure that's all I have for themes. But yeah. So you can make it transparent, and I think that's it. So now I'm just going to go into, oh yeah, first I want to show you guys this. You could add tabs, so I could put like one script here, another script here, and maybe another script here. And you can execute any script you want. It does not just need to be these or in the script hub. You could just look up online random scripts. I showcase some on my channel as well. And yeah, so once you get into a game, the first thing you want to do is click attach. So before you do anything else, you click attach right here and then give it a couple seconds. And then once it attaches, you come over here. You could either go into the script tub, execute anything you want here. There's a ragdoll engine GUI, but I'm just going to use this script. So you click execute and then boom, it's on your screen. So I'm just going to give you guys a showcase of this script. It's really, really OP. I can come over here. I could do like um, anti ragdoll. I can control click bomb. So I could just control click everywhere and then bombs are going to start exploding. As you can see, you can crash the server. You could bomb everyone in the game, which you're about to see right now. Boom, they all explode. And this is server sided. So everybody in the game can see this. You can, um, let me find it, you can do map invisible, give it a second to load, and then boom, the map is invisible, and you can actually change how visible it is, but this is what everybody sees right now, so that is really, really insane. Like you, like you could crash an entire server with this script, so that's obviously really overpowered. But yeah, boom, the map is gone. And everybody in the chat can see this. You can fix the map. You can become invisible yourself. You can crash the server, which I'm not going to showcase just because I don't really want to crash my own game too. <laughs> but yeah, there's some teleports. There are... I'm actually going to showcase infinite yield. Now a lot of exploits, actually free exploits, can run infinite yield, but here it is. And if I come over here, 
as you can see I can type dex give it a couple seconds and it, it actually runs the synapse edition which is a $20 exploit synapse edition of dex completely fine you could look at the entire game basically from here it's pretty nice there's also a bunch of commands on infinite yield but I'm just gonna join up into um, Arsenal really quickly so I could show you a kill all script in that game it's really fun okay so I just loaded up into Arsenal and the first thing you want to do never forget is to attach the exploit so I'm just gonna do that now that it's attached I'm gonna click deploy join a team give it a second and then you come over here to the script hub and I'm just gonna click Arsenal auto win and when I click this this button right here you just give it a couple seconds sometimes it lags my game I don't know why it's doing it now but okay my screen was just frozen there for a long time I don't know what happened but yeah so I'm back into prison life now and I'm gonna show you some scripts I have for this game so obviously just attach and then if you go into the script hub, you'll see how many Prison Life GUIs I have. So there's Prison Life number one, Prison Life GUI number two, Prison Hacks V2. There's just so many GUIs for this. I think you have to press J. Oh yeah, F. So this is one GUI. This is another one. And there's actually kill all scripts on here, which is clearly overpowered. I click kill all and it's just gonna kill the entire game. There's another exploiter in this server, <laughs> so I think it kinda like cancels him out, but it's still pretty cool. You can obtain every single gun in the game, and I didn't even have to go anywhere for it, it just gave me it. Um, you can use kill aura, so if I click this, I click P, and all I need to do is walk next to people and they'll die. Boom, he's dead, boom, they're dead. And if I load up infinite yield, I can get like fly hacks. So I can go fly and then just fly next to people and they die. This is clearly really, really, really overpowered. Boom. I can't kill them if they're in a force field, but you can see they're dead. The second they get out of a force field, boom. But yeah, I don't like doing this too much because it makes the game pretty not fun for them but as you can see he's dead she's dead and yeah you can basically do this as much as you want but that's pretty much all there is i mean i hope you guys like this video before i end the video though i'm going to show you how to fix some common bugs and errors that you guys might be getting so i'll be right back when i'm on my desktop okay so i'm here and the first and most common issue people will get is when they first open it, it's going to give them an error before it even loads in. And that just means that your antivirus is on. So all you want to do is just go to the Windows search bar down here and type in the word security. And it'll pop up here, Windows security. Come over here to virus and threat protection. Click manage settings. And you can leave everything else on. You just need to turn off real-time protection. Because what this does is it like... It automatically deletes files that it thinks are viruses and you could leave everything else on but that'll basically fix that error for you um, for most of the other errors you could just check this I have a pastebin file here it has almost every single error listed on there um, if you're getting an error when you first download it on the last link of the download the mboost link you just have to click the lock icon in the search bar and then delete all the cookies and refresh the page. It's pretty easy, but I think that's all the errors there are. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. The download link will be in the description. And as always, peace.